South Korea is planning to give new moms and dads up to a year and a half of parental leave. Sounds amazing, right? That's one of the most generous leave policies in the world. South Korea already allows up to one year of leave. It's way more common for women to take leave than men, yet the vast majority of women don't use it. I wanted to know why, so my colleague Julie Yoon and I did a deep dive. Societal pressures such as lack of childcare and discrimination in the workplace are forcing women to choose between their careers and motherhood. And these burdens on working women are a major reason why South Korea has the lowest fertility rate in the world. The proof is in this M curve. In Korea, it's really easy for women in their 20s to get a job. Then there's a huge drop off of women in the workforce in their 30s after they become wives or mothers. Then when they try to return to work later in life, they rarely reach the same levels. This is very different from other wealthy countries where women tend to work continuously until they choose to retire. Being a working mom isn't easy no matter what country you live in. But we chose to focus our reporting on South Korea because it's such an extreme version of the demographic crisis that many countries are facing throughout Asia and even parts of Europe. Julie and I got to know four South Korean women from 23 to 56 years old to see how these pressures and choices play out in different phases of their lives. This is Shin Dong Ju. She's 23 and a senior at Yuhua Women's University in Seoul. She's applying to jobs now and she's focused on the companies with the most family-friendly benefits and policies. 한국 경쟁이 너무 심하다 보니까 서른 개 정도는 써야 되지 않을까 생각하고 있고 대기업 위주로만 쓰려고 하고 있습니다. The job market in Korea has the biggest gender wage gap in the developed world, and the workplace gender discrimination is not uncommon. For example, women are sometimes asked during job interviews if they plan to have children. You would get sued for that in the U.S. 선배들이 얘기해 주셨던 것 중에 기억에 남는 건 이런 이런 기업은 여자들이 다니기 좀 힘들다 이런 얘기를 들어서. With shrinking job prospects and soaring housing costs, many young South Koreans are choosing not to get married or have children. It's no wonder South Korea has the lowest birth rate in the world. Dongju would eventually like to have both a career and a family, but she's already starting to see the challenges that many working Korean women face. She's already started consulting her mom, who's agreed to help her out years from now. This is Nam Sumin. She's 33 and a full-time mom. After a year-long parental leave, she had to quit her job and stay at home because it was impossible to secure childcare. 일단 양가 부모님들 같은 경우는 이미 조카들을 돌보시고 있는 상황이셔가지고 큰 도움을 받기에는 조금 무리가 있을 것 같았고 어린이집 같은 경우에도. 둘다 맞벌이임에도 불구하고 저희 순번이 오지 않아가지고 입소를 할수 없었고요. Sunin says having a baby was the best thing she's done in her life. But it's not easy to get help from family, friends, or the local community. Actually, Korea ranks among the lowest in quality of social support among wealthy economies. <laughs> like so many Korean women in their 30s, Sunin had to take a break just as her career was taking off. She does plan to go back to work, but knows that it'll be a tough path to navigate. Although South Korea currently allows up to one year of parental leave, not all employers adhere to it, and many who do go back are not supported at work. 지금 세대 때는 사실 일을 하는 거는 어떻게 보면 필수 안 필수라고 생각이 들어요. 가장 큰 거는 경제적인 이유가 가장 클것 같고요. 두 번째로는 저도 이제 사회생활을 계속해서 해왔던 사람으로서 언젠가는 다시 돌아가서 제 엄마로서가 아니라 제 삶도 다시 찾아야 되지 않을까 싶습니다. This is Yu Gyeong. She's 44, a mother of two, and works at an IT startup. Like so many South Korean women, Yu Gyeong had to take a career break to take care of her young children. Then she faced a lot of hurdles when she tried to go back to work. 다시 직장 세계에 못 들어갈까 봐 그게 되게 불안했어요. 한 번은 헤던팅을 사랑 미팅을 했는데 아이가 둘 있다는 이야기를 제 얘기를 듣자마자 분위기가 확 바뀌더라고요. Many women never get to go back to work, but Yu Gyeong did. But that also means she has to find creative ways to keep her kids busy. 6시 반까지 안전하게 아이들이 건강하게 있을 수 있는 곳이 우리나라에 옵션이 많이 없는 것 같아요. 그래서 태권도를 굳이 보내게 됐어요. South Korea's work culture emphasizes long hours. A 52-hour work week is a norm here. So after dinner and bedtime with the kids, Yu Gyeong has to dive back into work at 10 p.m. Women who try to re-enter the workforce are labeled career-interrupted women. It's a pretty negative term. The South Korean legislature is now trying to change that to women with experience in hopes of shifting perceptions. 부모가 되고 나서 얻었던 인간적인 성숙함이 직장 생활을 할때 나타날 때가 있어요. 그래서 직장에도 어, 저처럼 부모인 리더들이 많이 나타나면 직장 생활이 조금 더 행복해질 수 있겠다. 그렇게 생각.
이렇게 본 적이 있어요. This is y u m i y o n She's 56, a single mom and a full-time bus driver. Like many Korean women her age, m i y o n didn't go to college because that was for boys. Instead, she got married at 23. m i y o n always worked to supplement her husband's income. But after her divorce, she wanted a job that pays well so she could support herself and her daughter. So she pursued her bus driving license. 여자분들이 50대 돼서 할수 있는 일들이 전문직 아닌 이상은 취업하기가 힘들어요. 그래서 미용사나 아니면은 간호 조무사 같은 경우가 많은데 저는 버스 승무원 어그 기사에 도전하게 돼서 너무 좋은 것 같아요. Starting in their 50s, Korean women follow the workforce dramatically. That's because some of them never regain their footing after re-entering the workforce. Other women can only find part-time jobs with little to no benefits. This contributes to South Korea's elderly poverty rate, which is the highest among all developed economies, and is worse for elderly women than men. 자격증을 따고 나서 이제 일을 하면서 페이도 안정적이고 또 남자분들이랑 같이 동등하게 일할 수 있다는 게참 좋은 것 같아요. Life as a bus driver isn't easy. The days are long and physically demanding. But m i y o n is super fit and happy to be working. She's one of the rare Korean women who gets to enjoy a fulfilling career in her 50s.